At the Institute for Communications Technology at TU Braunschweig, intensive research on new technologies has been carried out in the Department of Mobile Radio Systems. Since not everything can be tested in field trials, a special simulation software for mobile radio networks has been developed and is constantly being extended. Simone is a simulation software for mobile radio networks. It was developed for the planning of mobile radio networks on a microscopic and macroscopic level and to analyze and evaluate those networks under realistic conditions. But how does this work and what all is needed for this? Map-based simulations are one way to analyze mobile radio networks. For this purpose, the location at which the simulation is to take place is first determined. A realistic model of the mobile radio network has to be created for this location. We are located in Hannover. This is what an idealized network would look like. Here mobile radio sites are evenly distributed throughout the city. This is what a network would look like in reality, which is why we at the Institute for Communications Technology work with such a network. For years we have set ourselves the goal of creating simulations that are as realistic as possible. The technologies are individually adaptable. That means that LTE, wireless LAN, 5G cells and other technologies can be selected and displayed. The expected data traffic in a city depends on the location and the time of day. Using information about the surroundings, the reception power can be calculated at any location in the city. If you now consider the traffic in the city, you can calculate an SINR map. This makes it easy to identify overload situations in the network depending on time of day. The Institute of Communications Technology has a large database with realistic data available that Simone accesses. Realistic situations can be optimized thanks to Simone and mobile radio networks can be planned more effectively. In addition to this map-based analysis, the mobile radio network can also be analyzed from the user's point of view. Simone can represent a wide variety of user mobility models. These include indoor users, pedestrians, trams, cars, trains and even drones. Among others, Zumo from DLR is used for the mobility models. The aim is to use realistic motion profiles to depict realistic situations. The modularity of the software is available on several levels. First, in the choice of technology. Second, in the choice of users. And third, also in the choice of traffic. Among other things, it can also be taken in account whether someone is streaming a video on their tablet, reading an article or simply making a phone call. Behind the connections between cells and users are path loss predictors. Thanks to the building data and the different mobility models combined with the path loss predictors, handovers among other things can be made visible. Here you can see such a handover. Direct connections between two vehicles as used in vehicular communication can also be simulated. Here we see two cars driving in a convoy exchanging messages. Another car forces itself between the two and the direct connection is briefly interrupted. Reflections on the buildings however maintain the connection. Simone is versatile and has already been used for projects such as self-organized networks, vehicular communication, communication between drones and mobile radio cells, and for applications in the field of terahertz communication. The system is constantly extended and thanks to the database at the Institute for Communications Technology, many projects benefit from previous research. Get to know Simone too. Just have a look at our website or send us an email to simone at ifn.ing.tu-bs.de.